waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Breaking news up on Infowars.com. Marietta, California. We have video of it documenting it. Patriots outnumber amnesty supporters 20 to 1. Americans in the Southwest are not supportive of illegal immigration. And folks, I see these desperate people from Central and South America that, that, that Mexico won't allow. They have a fence between the fence. And so when people get deported out of the U.S. from Central America, the Mexicans just leave them in a literal no man's land. There's a great uh, Vice video from a few years ago documenting that. And I feel sorry for them. But I didn't do to them what's happening in Latin America. <clears throat> and having them come here to be zombie voters for the Democrats who are hell-bent on destroying male role models <clears throat> because when you attack a civilization, you take down the male first. And that's what the commenters says here in this article that just went up. It's got like 200 comments in 10 minutes. It's all about capturing the female breeder for the globalist and ditching the welfare system for human capital, energy-based economy. The globalists want women submissive and brainwashed to work to pay the bills. The left is betraying women of all races. The next commenter says the left-right paradigm is a false flag, a red herring, a distraction, a puppet show. Try to keep it up. Try to keep up. You know, I use the term left-right to communicate with new listeners. It is a false paradigm, but you have to communicate with people. It's like whenever we talk about micro FMs, you know, private unlicensed stations that run this show around the country, I always say, we, there are pirate radio stations out there that carry the show. Their real name is micro FM, and as long as they're not interfering with commercial stations, they're a key you know, public service, and I salute them. And I'll get emails saying, it's called micro, or people's radio, not pirate. I know that. I'm the guy that coined the term left-right paradigm 18 years ago on record. I'm not bragging. It's just, it, it, it's just fact. It's kind of cool to come full circle because I'm not into power trips or ego. I come off as egotistical because I'm just a rampaging maniac at times. because I've done this so long. I'm so burnt out. I'm beyond even caring about what happens to me. I'm, I'm just being honest with you in the final equation. You know, it comes off as arrogant. But what I do enjoy is the weirdness of being criticized for not covering 9-11 truth enough when I started the 9-11 truth movement. And I really like people when they criticize me for being part of the left-right paradigm <laughs> because it shows that I have succeeded wildly uh, when people don't even know all over the place. Left-right paradigm is used all over the news, everywhere. Product placement, which I then coined propaganda placement, is now used everywhere and, and behavior placement. And again, it's a testament to the power of the people. Democrats are saying that Obama's acting bizarre, aloof, strange, but he still enjoys hanging out with Boehner, his good buddy. We're going to cover all the DrudgeReport.com headlines and Infowars.com headlines when we come back. And I'm going to open the phones up. When we come back, first we're going to talk to our reporters on the ground, Joe Biggs and Jakari Jackson. And then we're going to just take your phone calls right into the third hour today. So I will give you uh, those numbers when we come back on the other side of this break. And I will get into the immigration wave news uh, and the really serious news that you should all be getting chills up and down your back over and grinding your teeth over like I do. Autonomous Mercedes-Benz Semi debuts on the Autobahn. You know, I have this image like the start of a science fiction movie about, you know, first was the computer, then the autonomous car, then the autonomous robot, then Judgment Day. 
We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, the globalists have already decided we're all dead, and we're arguing about black versus white. I can, like, taste dirt in it. God knows what's in this. These people just sampled City of Austin tap water straight from the faucet. Next, we had them try a sample of tap water filtered through the ProPure G2.0 filtration system. That one is better. Tastes like nothing. Yep, I know what good water tastes like. It's good water. Most tap water contains added substances like fluoride, chlorine, glyphosate, and many others. Studies prove that these substances are linked to an assortment of major health issues, including tooth decay, lowered IQ, and even cancer. It tastes like you're drinking out of the lake when you're drinking tap water. The ProPure G2.0 filtration system removes these deadly substances, leaving only fresh tasting, deliciously clean water. Okay, this is very tasty. It's good water. Refreshing. It's good. Go to InfoWarsStore.com today and get your free wire stand with the purchase of a ProPure big water filtration system or call 1-888-253-3139. In the near future. When you realize how fake it all is, the football, the security basketball. Alert. Security alert. This is Homeland Security. Analysis. InfoWars building independent media operations. You let the worst people get controlled and tell us that we are the ones responsible. Prime directive discredit Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist. It's a popular conspiracy theory talk show called InfoWars. Alex Jones is now in an Austin jail. These people are assaulted. Targeting of patriots engaged. They are never going to stop. They're never going to deviate from their program until we stop them. Block free iPhone app at infowars.com. Block free podcast and video feed. Imperative destroy prison planet TV. You gotta set your eye on the enemy, not worry about what propaganda they put out intellectually. It's because you can feel it. Man, when I get home from work, all Betty does is watch her reality TV and then she goes to sleep. I can take her on romantic dates, I get her flowers, you name it. She's just not the woman I married. Oh, Ralph, that's just awful. Does this seem familiar? Are the honeymoon days of your relationship long gone? If so, consider this. The abundance of chemical additives, pesticides, BPA containers, contaminated tap water, and other toxic substances found in our environment. Experts know our bodies are suffering and being thrown off balance, especially when it comes to your natural systems. Forget synthetic chemicals. Super Female Vitality brings forward key herbs specifically chosen for women's biology without the use of phony additives. Get your bottle of Super Female Vitality today at InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsStore.com, or call 1-888-253-3139. InfoWarsLife.com. Live life healthy. He's the T-Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. All right, we're going to have a jam-packed second and third hour, ladies and gentlemen. Obama is traveling all over the United States collecting campaign money for the Democrats instead of going down the border that he has ordered opened, where he has ordered a stand down, according to the Border Patrol president and vice president. And then four weeks ago, almost, we shot video of eyewitnesses, ice whistleblowers, the head of emergency management in McAllen, Texas, saying they're ordered to load them on Greyhound buses, give them vouchers to go anywhere they want, and to release them. And that's been confirmed as of last week by the New York Times. The White House admitted it. And the Republican leadership is still going, gee, we don't know why this is happening. Obama ought to fix it. Fix it. If you walk up to somebody and hit them in the head with a hatchet and kill them, and then the cops come up and say, you need to fix that. No, you go to jail for capital murder. You premeditatedly hack somebody in the head and killed them. They opened the borders, and we can't even get this bankrupt, evil political class to admit that they're doing this on purpose. And again, I'm going to explain something. They've already got wages driven down. They've already got 30 million illegals in this country. Most big U.S. cities already look like war zones. I mean, Southern California looks like hell. Dallas looks like hell now. I grew up there. This country's in a depression. They don't need more to bankrupt us. 
it hit me, and I've been saying this for a while, but it really hit me how right I was, that this is the Detroitification of the nation by design, Cloward and Piven on steroids, and that we knew in the last six months waves of illegals have been hitting hard. And the crime has been exploding in the Southwest. All the numbers are there. And now this big advertisement all over the world that you get here, this is going to cause a mega wave. And I know I'm stating the obvious, but no one else is pointing it out. We need to have articles about what the mega wave will look like. And I know I say this on air and then Breitbart and others do it and World End Daily. I'm glad. Please go do the article. Last week I said to you articles about Robert Rodriguez and Obama set to meet tonight and Breitbart did yesterday finally. Uh, but again, my, my folks are overwhelmed, so, uh, and they're doing a great job. It's just that the, these are the big issues, and it's very lonely to continue to hit right on what's happening and to state the obvious. It's like getting up, walking on your back porch at 6 a.m., watching the sun coming up, and saying, hey, honey, come out here and see the sunrise. And your wife runs out and goes, I've never seen that before. You must be racist. That's the analogy. Hey, look, they're overflowing us with all these people who are totally illegal. They're legalizing them. That'll fully collapse the border because they put them on welfare. That'll bring tens of millions more. Quickly, it'll collapse everything. Why are you a racist? I mean, I'm simply pointing out what's happening. And like the Democratic Party followers... They write articles every day attacking us, making jokes about us. Like they're on some winning team and it's funny what's happening. It's not funny they're getting the Pentagon ready to take your pension funds and martial law standing by. It's not funny that these third worlds have been collapsed and now we're collapsing. This is real sociology, real anthropology. I, I, I mean, this is a fact, folks. This country is being shut down, is being ended. They don't want a prosperous middle class and an upwardly mobile working class. They want poor, dumbed down people. And when they're done bankrupting the country, none of you people are getting welfare anymore. So get rid of that. Get ready for that. They're going to bring in fascism on the back of this. And that's what clicked. The only way I'll survive and not be taken out down the road is to become a fascist and to become an ultra right wing operative and to let the Democrats do all this on purpose and wreck everything and then be part of a pro-government fascist movement in the future. And I'm not going to do it. I'm going to take the right course of liberty, truth and justice for humanity and I'm going to be hated by the black racist, the white racist, the Hispanic racist, everybody in their own little gang group. All ignorant, all being losers, all being chumps, being played like fools by this system. Because I'll tell you, I'm not worried about he that can kill my body. I'm worried about losing my soul. And I'm worried about losing my family name. And I'm worried about bringing bad mojo on my family. You can use whatever term you want. Reap what you sow, karma. Everybody in their gut knows when you do bad stuff, it's not just that you have a conscience and feel bad about what you did. You know it's coming back on you, and it ain't coming back on you when you die. Oh, it comes back then, too. It comes back in this life. And I'm a very moral, upright person looking back in retrospective in my life. Okay? Straight shooter all the way. Have anger issues, but that's, that's about it. And I can tell you, I shake deep down with concern for the things I've done and knowing it'll be brought back on me. And guess who else? And I knock on wood here. Please, God, pass over my kids. I spiritually put the blood right on the, right on the doorpost every day. But man, this stuff comes back on your kids. I'm going to tell you right now, all you people that are serving the system, you wonder why you're losers. You wonder why you're unfulfilled. You wonder why you're failures. It's because you've served a lie and a fraud. And America has bought into so many lies. I was talking to a friend last night whose grandfather was a super trailblazer, made hundreds of millions of dollars in 1940s, 50s, 60s money. His great-grandfather, actually. Related to President Johnson, you name it. And I was talking to my buddy last night. And we're saying, yeah, professional wrestling...